Hi everybody, I'm Jessie and happy Pride Month. I'm so glad you were able to join me today while I show you this really cool watercolor project. All right, so with this project, it's all about love. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our contact paper and we are gonna actually draw out the letters love. And instead of an O, I'm gonna use a heart. Okay, go ahead and cut them out, but do not take it off the backing of the contact paper. Once you have your letters cut out, go ahead and peel them off the backing and stick them to your watercolor paper. When you stick them on, you're gonna to wanna to press really, really hard to make sure that there is no gaps between the paper, the stickiness and the paper. All right, once you have your letters stuck down to your paper, go ahead and set it off to the side just for a second because we're gonna get our paint ready. Now, with it being Pride Month, I wanna do the transgender pride flag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to utilize a couple different colors of my paint and then use the white of the paper as the white for the flag. So the trans flag is light pink, light blue, and white. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add white to both of these cups. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of red and a little bit of blue to each one. Next, I'm gonna add water to these. You're gonna almost want them to the consistency of ketchup. Gonna Grab another water cup just to rinse out my brush. Repeat the process with the blue. Perfect. Just gonna go ahead and set these off to the side. Bring my painting back, my paper. Do one last check, make sure no air bubbles have snuck in on me. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a wet on wet technique, which means I'm gonna get my paper wet and then using wet watercolor, I'm gonna set it on top and check out what happens, all right? So I got my big brush here. I'm gonna just dip it right on in, try and get as many of those bristles as I can, get it nice and wet, all right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint just like this. Just get that paper all nice and wet. Now check out the magic. So the first color I'm gonna do is blue. I'm gonna dip my brush back into the paint. While the paper is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and add that blue color in. With it being wet on wet, what's happening is the paint molecules are hitting the water molecules and it's moving itself. And so you really don't have a whole lot of control on what the paint's gonna do but it's gonna create this really cool washed out background look. All right, now I'm gonna paint the rest of my page pink. Now I'm not gonna get super, super close to my blue because I don't want that blue to bleed in too much yet. It'll get there, okay? Then go ahead, dip into that pink and start painting. What's really fun about this project is you're never gonna get two that are exactly the same because it all depends on how much water you put on your paper, where you put the water on your paper, and how much wrinkling your paper does. As the paper absorbs the water, you can tell it's getting a little bubbly, and that's fine, but that's also gonna force the paint to move in different ways that you probably didn't think of. All right, so this is pretty much done. Now, if I wanted to come back in and add a second coat of that blue, totally can. Maybe I want some more blue right in through here. 
All right. Once you're done painting, you're gonna wanna let it dry probably for a good hour or two, depending on how much water you've used. But I wanted to show you guys the really cool reveal. So I went ahead and did one yesterday for you. So what's gonna happen is it's all dry. You can see all the really cool watercolor effects. Some of these little splotches where the water like really went choo and moved the paint around. So what I'm gonna do is just come over to a corner and peel right on up. As you can see, the contact paper protected. I had a little bit of an air bubble that I didn't get rid of earlier, but it protected the paper. How cool is that, guys? I know I love doing this project, and I can't wait to see some of the really awesome love projects you guys come up with. So make sure to take a picture, post it. I can't wait to see it. And until next time, guys, we love you and be proud. Bye.